probably been ice fishing for like five-ish years. My real inspiration for starting ice fishing was I watched this YouTuber, John B. He does a lot of ice fishing and fishing, and he really got me into it when he bought a camp in Maine, and that just inspired me to start ice fishing. And you guys have a pretty sweet location here, and are you are you able to you know ice fish right out right out back? Yeah, we uh, we just catch chain pickerel out there, and it's it's still fun. I love ice fishing, and yeah. And well, ice fishing is, is why I'm here because there was a, a, a scary incident the other day. So do you mind just you know taking me through what that was like? Yeah, well, I got home from a hockey game, and I decided I wanted to try a new ice fishing spot. So I went down there. It was just me and my GoPro. And I heard gunshots, which was normal. And then all of a sudden I hear one shot that I heard the whizzing of the bullet right by my head. And that's what said, I have to get out of here. And then when I was picking up, another one came that was like really close to me. And that's when I like got on my stomach on the ice and yelled at them to watch where they're shooting. And then I waited for the shooting to stop and ran to the woods because I wasn't gonna stay on the ice. And so you're, you're obviously lucky because, you know, your dad is an outdoorsman and, and you've been doing this for a long time. So you kind of made the, the correct move. But, you know, was it was it scary? It was very scary because you don't you're especially right on the wide open ice. You never know where it's going to go when you have no cover out there. So it's very scary. And I know, um, you know, you, you said you really weren't surprised because there are kind of, you know, shooting out there and what was it like, you know, for you being kind of a junior outdoorsman to kind of see people or, well, actually literally hear people, you know, not really paying attention on where they should be, you know, shooting or hunting or whatever the, those folks were doing? Right. It's very, people really need to know where they're shooting. And those people were actually shooting at a metal target into trees, which is not safe, of course. And people just need to know that you can't shoot somewhere and not know where your, where your bullets are going and expect it to be 100% fine because there's also houses over by where I was fishing, so they gotta know where they're gonna shoot. And so you're, you know, like you said, you're 14, uh, a junior still, um, and what, I mean, you obviously kind of know the, the best practice, and what's a, a great way for people to kind of get educated um, in like the, the best practices? Well, you, you gotta know your gun safety, and I think you can just find those like rules and just practice it in a safe location, especially at Pickerel Pond where they have the big shooting range that has berms on all sides so it's protected from anybody getting hurt and that's a good way to practice and you can't go out there shooting without having practice and think that you're going to be a pro at it. And so where were you, um, where was this new ice fishing spot? It's actually right near my house, it's just down the road and it's just behind somebody's house who I know and I asked them if I could cut through their yard and try a new fishing spot and I did and the one day I do that it turns out to be something bad. So. That's right. Well, Avery, the last thing, is there anything else um, that you would like to add about, you know, the, uh, the event? Actually, when, when did this happen? It happened on Sunday. Okay, on Sunday. So is there anything else that, that you want to mention about that event or maybe some advice for, for people that are, you know, just shooting in the woods and not really thinking twice about, you know, if they miss their target or miss a tree or something? Yeah, I just think people really need to have a secure backstop so their bullets can't ricochet and just go all over the place and they... They just really need to know where they're shooting because something could happen to somebody else just like it happened to me.